today I'm going to show you that you can give um, any length dog a haircut. So this is my dog RJ and he absolutely hates being groomed but he needs a bath and a haircut because he does sleep with me. So I don't know, those of you that have short hair dogs, you know you still get that hair um, on your clothes, especially when you're, I'm wearing black or in your, I, don't, I just don't want the hair in the furniture or the bed. So. I keep him nice and short, um, and I know he looks short, but um, as close as I can, you can see it with the camera, um, there's still plenty to come off. So what I'm going to do with RJ is, um, if you like the looks of this when I'm done, what I use on RJ is a number 7F blade, and I go against the grain, so I'll go backwards with the clippers and just the regular. So I'll show you a little bit of it and then um, the finished product. So hopefully you will like it and we'll give you some ideas. If you have your short hairs uh, breeds like Pugs or Labrador Retrievers, um, anything that's short haired but still you're having to deal with hair and shedding, this is the haircut that I recommend. So stay tuned. So what I'm doing now is uh, clipping out the pads of his feet. Um, when you do have your dog room, this is one of the things that we do on all dogs. And RJ absolutely hates to have his feet touched. Um, you will get a sanitary clip and this just keeps them clean when they um, go outside to go potty. Uh, this is another thing that is included in most of your hair cuts. So, I'm going to do a little bit on his face. I've already done the rest of his paws. So, that is a number um, 10 blade that I use on the face and uh, pop. And I'm going to go ahead and start the body. Okay, so I put on the 7S. If you are interested in this haircut, um, that, this is the blade that I use to um, shave down your shorter hair dog. So, And you're not going to notice a lot in the camera, number one, because he's so light. But this is a substantial amount of hair coming off without um, drastically changing his look. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the whole body like this. And then we'll come back and show you what we do with the head. Okay, I did a lot of the body. I still have a little bit to go, but I was just starting to work on some of the head and thought I probably should finish the body, but he's behaving. So, um, what I normally do is go backwards again with the 10, or the 7 half, I'm sorry, on top of the head and under the chin. I want to give him a little bit of a. Um, carrier type shape. So I'm going to do the cheeks backwards as well. Um, I'm going to leave a little length on the ear so I'm not going to shave them. He's not choking, he just doesn't want to stand up because he hates this. Um, and what I think I'll do on the rest of his face is use a comb. So we'll take a number three comb. And we'll get rid of these eyebrows. This way they're not completely shaved off and it still gives him a little character in his face. And we're going to do the same on his muzzle.
boy our day. So that's going to not shave it off completely. Still leave him with a little bit of roundness to his face and I'll you know, blend that in a little more with scissors um, as we do the finishing work. Okay, so here is the finished body. Um, he is completely shaved. Um, obviously, you're not seeing skin, but this is a short, um, short, short. I mean, if he did shed, you're not going to notice it. He feels like velvet soft. This looks fantastic, like I said, on um, Labrador Retrievers or um, pugs, especially. If you don't know anyone that has a pug, um, they shed tremendously. So this gets rid of all of that um, coarse, short hair that you find all over your floor. Um, and then I'm just going to finish it up um, by trimming his ears on the edges. You don't do anything fancy with him. Um, I just need it. I'm going to move this Here's finished the RJ. <laughs> He's completely done, and I hope um, 